So you talked to me uh, uh, about this roommate, uh, yeah. and well, uh, I became aware that she must be terminally ill, at least, and then she might be dying. Um, and eventually, one of the CNAs, very kind CNAs, told me that she had been a resident for Taquan for some time and was a great favorite of everybody and how much they liked her or cared for her and that she was dying. Her relatives came to see her during the day and they, they were very polite and they tried not to bother me but we were, our beds were just a couple of feet apart practically. It seemed to me it was very close because uh, when many relatives came at one time, she was obviously mat the matriarch of a large family. And uh, so a large family came to see her. Um, but it was very noisy and during the day, and they were always very apologetic. But then at night, she was left alone. No family member and no staff member was there with her, and so but we were, were we her. were left what, left alone. And I realized after a while how very ill she was, uh, and that she would probably die while I was in the room with her. And I I felt like I wanted to take care of her. I wanted to hold her hand, but of course I couldn't do it because I couldn't even get out of bed. And uh, so um, every now and then, one of the, the nursing assistants, bless their hearts, would come in and s stroke her forehead, or, but they couldn't. They, they had to take care of other patients, obviously. They couldn't stay with her. So for two nights, we were alone together, and I realized the third night, <laughs> that she probably would be dying that night. For some reason, I felt this. And I said, I, I cannot. I tried to do it, but then my usual defenses that usually work for me didn't work, and I began to get extremely agitated and hysterical. And I rang, I could ring the bell, and one of the kind of the CNAs came and walked with me, walked me down to the nursing station where I said, I, I cannot be the only witness to my roommate who does not know me, never knew me, and I don't, I cannot, I just can't, I can't, I felt so guilty that I couldn't be a witness with her to her death. It's the second most important event in all our lives. And so I, I just said this, and a wonderful charge nurse was on duty. She and, was- And you were crying. Yeah, and she understood she was full of empathy and was very human but very professional at the same time and I asked her to call Margaret and my other daughter Jennifer and they came over right away and uh, and got me under control <laughs> um, and helped Cindy who was the nurse's name um, with Find it. They called it. finally the director of nursing who found a, a bed for me for in another room with another roommate. Who uh, and that night my roommate did die. And after that, I felt so guilty for not having stayed, and I still do. <laughs> and maybe we should all feel a little guilty. Yeah.